So how do you feel about where you're going, who you're playing, who you're matched up against? I mean, I don't, I don't really know much about the teams that we're playing against, but uh, I'm pretty excited to go to Mississippi State. You know, I know they have a nice facility there. You know, pumped. I like playing on the road. It's always cool to see, you know, different teams' atmosphere and, you know, what they do, where their home is. So, kind of excited. How a lot of people this? thought you guys were going to be a top 16 seed. How much did it fire you up a little bit that you guys weren't and how much do you need to prove to people now? We kind of put ourselves in that position. Obviously, you know, we, we lost some tough games throughout the whole season that we should have won. But, uh, you know, leaves us with a little chip on our shoulder. We're from Miami, so most of us on the team are at least. And, you know, play with that high energy. You know, a lot of you know, emotions in our body. So we're excited to go on the road. We're excited to play against some big teams. How is it to be able to get back into regionals after missing the last two years? I know Gino talks about the goal is to win a national championship, but this is the first step you have to take. How much did it mean to you guys to, to start a new streak, per se? Yeah, Hopefully. obviously, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be the team, you know, to get us back into a regional, be that, you know, back in the playoffs, but it's not our ultimate goal. We want to, you know, we want to go to Omaha, we want to win Omaha, so it'd, it'd be cool to be, you know, that team to get us back into, the, you know, Omaha and hopefully win it. Alex, just your thoughts on the way you guys have been playing, um, kind of going into the tournament uh, as a whole this last time in the game, 10, you know, a couple of weeks here. Pretty confident, you know. We've been swinging the bat good here at the end of the stretch. Uh, obviously, I feel like we got to play better defense, you know, as a team in the infield and the outfield. You know, pitching everything we got to, you know, defense and, and pitching really wins championships, and that's what's going to really separate us from, you know, the other teams in our regional and and hopefully beyond that point. We touched on Mississippi State, uh, knowing their facilities are good. Do you know much else about their program or any of the guys on the, on the team there? I remember playing against a few of them, you know, in travel ball growing up and stuff. But uh, I just I know that you know they get a packed house. They got they seat a lot of people, and it's an SEC stadium, so you know it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to go over there. The idea of being matched up against uh, Stanford, possibly if the, if they win, and you'd have to go to California, three hour time difference is that a little disappointing? I think it'd be cool, but as of right now, I'm just. I'm just thinking about you know getting past the regional, and if we happen to go to Stanford, we go to Stanford or wherever it takes us. And your season is so much better this year. What's been the biggest difference? And you know, just power. put in the work in the off season. You know, change a few things that I needed to change. And you know, I feel like hitting is contagious. And you know, basically our whole lineup's been hitting all year. And once you see the guy in front of you, you get a couple hits. You know, you just feel like you're gonna go up there and get a hit. Do you feel like every time you get up to the plate, you might put one over the fence? I'd like to think that, but it all depends on, you know, what pitch I get, what the location is, my timing, all that stuff. There's a lot of factors that play into it, but I'm just trying to put together a good at-bat. Were you surprised, by the way, I was surprised that you didn't get any uh, postseason honors as far as all ACC or second team or whatever? No, obviously, you know, it kind of leaves me with a chip on my shoulder that I feel like I had a good season, but, you know, other guys had better seasons than me, so obviously I got to work harder in this offseason, you know, hopefully get one next year. Alex, the, sh the shift that you saw in the ACC tournament it seemed like all four guys, I think, were. Had you seen that before? That yeah, UNC did it to me when we played at Chapel Hill, and then a couple other teams have done it. But I don't really think too much into it because once you try to you know change your swing to beat the shift or do certain things, it's just gonna mess everything up. I just try to keep the same approach I've had all year, and you know if the ball lands on a spot there or not, then you know. I'm grateful that I got to hit that up bat. Is, is that easier said than done when I mean, you're still a young player? I mean, to see just a blanket. Yeah, it's definitely easier said than done because when you you know you look up and you see everyone running to the right side of the field, you're like, oh, here comes the shift again. But you know, I'm kind of used to it now. It's been happening all year. We did it to me in the fall, so I'm just kind of used to seeing people on that side of the field. It's not that really a big of a deal. A couple more for Terrell. All right. Good. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.